Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest and most important news in global politics and military strategy. Today, we're diving into a critical situation unfolding in the South China Sea. The United States and the Philippines have deployed B-1B bombers to assist Taiwan after Chinese ships harassed Taiwanese vessels in the disputed waters. Stay with us as we unpack this complex issue and its far-reaching implications. The South China Sea has long been a hotspot of geopolitical tension, with multiple countries claiming overlapping territories. Taiwan, though not officially recognized as a separate country by many nations, maintains its own government and military. The waters around Taiwan are crucial for global trade and military strategy, making any conflict in this area highly significant. Recently, tensions have escalated as Chinese ships have been increasingly aggressive towards Taiwanese vessels. This harassment is part of a broader strategy by China to assert its dominance in the region, often leading to dangerous confrontations. In response to these provocations, the United States and the Philippines have made a significant strategic move by deploying B-1B bombers to support Taiwan. These bombers, known for their speed and payload capacity, are a formidable presence in any conflict zone. The deployment has drawn varied reactions from the international community. The United States and its allies view this as a necessary step to ensure stability in the region. However, China has condemned the move, calling it an unnecessary escalation and a threat to its sovereignty. U.S. Air Force bolsters Indo-Pacific presence with B-1B Lancer deployment. The United States Air Force has deployed a squadron of B-1B Lancer bombers to Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. This strategic move addresses escalating regional tensions following the inauguration of Taiwanese President Lai ching Ti whose pro-independent stance has alarmed China, prompting extensive military drills around Taiwan. Deployment details of the B-1B Lancer Bombers The B-1B Bombers, part of the 28th Bomb Wing of the Global Strike Command from Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, were relocated to Anderson Base. Operating as the 37th Expeditionary Bomb Squadron, these aircraft represent the second significant deployment to Guam this month. Earlier, a contingent of B-52 bombers arrived after participating in joint exercises with the Philippines, underscoring the region's increasing strategic importance. Strategic Reassurance Amid Rising Tensions Pentagon Press Secretary, Air Force Major General Patrick S. Ryder, emphasized the U.S. commitment to regional stability stating, the department remains confident in the current posture of U.S. forces and operations in the Indo-Pacific region with our allies and partners to safeguard peace, stability, and our national security. He noted the close monitoring of China's military activities in the Taiwan Strait and surrounding areas, expressing concerns both publicly and directly. Chinese Military Movements Between May 23 and 25, the Chinese military conducted significant operations near Taiwan, involving 49 aircraft from the People's Liberation Army Navy and Air Force, supported by 19 naval vessels and seven Coast Guard ships, dubbed Joint Sword 2024. These exercises aim to block the escape of Taiwan independence separatists and break their comfort zone, according to Chinese officials. U.S. Response to Provocations while the U.S. Air Force describes the B-1B Lancer deployment as a routine mission, it is clearly intended to deter potential threats from China and North Korea. This strategic deployment comes amid broader concerns about potential conflicts in the Middle East. Strengthening Allied Naval Forces The Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force has confirmed the participation of nine additional vessels in this coordinated show of strength. The USS Ronald Reagan, stationed in Yokosuka, Japan, remains at its home port, ensuring that three of the 11 U.S. carriers are strategically positioned in the Indo-Pacific. Chinese Anti-Ship Capabilities 
Chinese state media has highlighted the threat posed by China's anti-ship ballistic missiles, such as the DF-21D and DF-26, capable of targeting aircraft carriers. This rhetoric accompanies increased regional tensions, particularly with the Philippines, a U.S. treaty ally engaged in territorial disputes with Beijing in the South China Sea, U.S.-China tensions and Taiwan's future. The deployment of U.S. carriers, planned months in advance, reinforces the U.S. military's commitment to the Indo-Pacific region amid rising tensions. Concerns are growing within the U.S. and among its allies that Chinese President Xi Jinping might order the seizure of Taiwan in the coming years. Taiwan, a democratically governed island, is considered by China as part of its territory, and Beijing has not ruled out using force to achieve unification. Political Dynamics in Taiwan Lai ching tis election as Taiwan's president, representing the Democratic Progressive Party, has exacerbated Beijing's concerns. His victory is viewed by China as a threat to regional peace, leading to increased military posturing. U.S. Military Readiness and Alliances In addition to monitoring the Taiwan situation, the U.S. is also concerned about North Korea's missile launches and its deepening defense ties with Russia. As a result, the U.S. military is conducting a comprehensive assessment of its readiness, enhancing logistics networks through joint military exercises with allied countries. Conclusion the deployment of B-1B Lancer bombers to Guam signifies a clear message of deterrence amidst growing regional tensions. By bolstering its military presence, the United States aims to reassure its allies and maintain stability in the Indo-Pacific region, demonstrating its unwavering commitment to defending its interests and those of its partners. As the situation unfolds, we remain hopeful for a peaceful resolution. The actions of the United States and the Philippines highlight the importance of international solidarity in the face of aggression. We will continue to monitor this story and provide updates as they happen. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses of global events. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time. Stay informed and stay safe.